Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what does deployment mean for a SQL Server DBA. In this demo, we'll be talking about deployment concepts. We'll be talking about types of deployment and we'll be talking about different methods to complete deployment. One thing I do want to mention here, deployment may vary from organization to organization. And what I'm going to share with you is my own experience. So let's go ahead and talk about deployment concept. Basically, big picture is that you have developed something significant that is going to bring business to, uh, to your organization. And that needs to go in production system right here because that's where your end users are and you're developed something significant for your end users. Uh, and bigger picture is this needs to go right here. But uh, um, as, a, as a process, it doesn't work that way. It, this de uh, deployment uh, goes through different phases and these are the phases right here. So let, let's talk about a little bit about the environment right here. Uh, development environments are usually where the developers are the master. They are all in all in uh, development and we have dev machines and uh, they have sandboxes. They might develop something on their own machine and uh, put it in development to test something for their own uh, uh, of their own development and then in some organization what happened is that developers have um, ability to move their development to test system right here so I have worked with some companies that was that case um, but um, some companies I have worked with is that we needed we needed to take the changes the development from development environment to test and then after that from test to UAT. So uh, test up here is usually where the testers are. This is the testers space. Once the development is gone into test, all the testers come in, test all the, the development and they say yay or nay. Uh, so once that's done, if let's say that it's yes, then it goes to UAT. So now UAT or QAT in some organization, they call it unit. Uh, uh, it's it's, it's uh, this space right here is for as far as I'm concerned, this is for business analyst space. So this guy right here and this one are very important. If something doesn't pass up here, it needs to go back to development and then it has to follow the same process again. So this is usually the duplicate of production. This is uh, uh, this contains most of the time the recent data from production and DBA usually have uh, um, a process that will give the latest data from production to uh, UAT so that the unit testing uh, up here will be done really against the latest and greatest data. So this is the BA space as far as I'm, I'm concerned. This is the tester space right here and right here is our end users so that is the bigger con a big concept behind de uh, de uh, deployment concept that you you have developed something and you need to take it to production and um, right here in some organization as I said that where where DBA kicks in uh, DBA will uh, deploy the changes that development that I was talking about take it from here to here but um, in some organization, they will take it from development to test to UAT and production. Now, let's talk about that was just the concept deployment concept that um, uh, what, what it means to have it in different environments and what kind of people are connected with different environments. And uh, let's talk about the types right here. Now, there are a couple types um, that I came across with the deployment. One is automatic uh, deployment. You can have uh, your um, a deployment automatic that uh, okay and there are obviously there are third-party tools or a TFS build could do that that once the compilation on uh, development is done then you can uh, it's moved to test and uh, the tester has their own scripts that is basically as soon as they receive the test the uh, the deployment says yes it's there then they can run their test uh, automatically and get the results in the emails or whatever uh, the method that they, they use and once tester is complete the test is passed then it goes to UAT and that is automatic deployment other uh, type that I came across with was manual deployment manual deployment is that once it's in uh, uh, development let's take uh, uh, this scenario that DBA comes right here right here 
So once it's in test, you grab all the changes from test uh, and put it in UAT manually. And um, once it's done, you can send an email that, okay, uh, it's in UAT, go ahead and do the uh, unit testing right here. And then after unit testing, they say things look good and you get an email and then you move manually all that all those changes to production so that is a kind of manual deployment um, it also can be the third type that um, I didn't think that uh, half of that could be automatic and half of that would be manual and I would like to call it hybrid deployment um, it would be combination of automatic uh, and deployment because tester up here can use uh, uh, a versioning control or a tester Microsoft tester as an example you know, TFS that you can go ahead and do your tester um, testing right here write your own test scripts and everything that can be automated but um, as soon as this is done it could be uh, in UAT and UAT is done then it in, you need to be really careful between these two environments that's where the DBAs needs to be really careful and sometimes uh, it is a good idea to take uh, a manual approach from UAT to production. So that that these are the uh, few types that I have came across in um, my career. Let's talk about methods. I have written down three methods. One is change control, and uh, other is team foundation server, and then third party tools such as Redgate. Um, first method right here is basically a combination of a process driven and task driven method right here. This is the change control when I talk about the process that means that uh, anything that goes in production system needs to be approved. So once it's approved then it would be certain task in that change control for DBAs. One task would be a test task, other would be UAT task and other would be right here production task. So uh, one thing that uh, once uh, your uh, change control is approved, then you can go ahead and move the changes to test environment and make that task complete. As soon as you will make the task complete, it, if there is a process to send email to tester, the, the email will go to tester that changes are in test, it's ready, the test system is ready to be tested. So same with UAT. Uh, once they will say that the uh, changes look good in test, let's move it to UAT. You will complete the UAT task and uh, so forth. So after you, it's it has a process of communication. It has a process of approval, and it has a process that is highly task driven. So this is the method that I I just thought that uh, it's most common method that's being used in a lot of organization. The other method right here is team foundation server method and when we talk about team foundation server we talk about versioning and that is basically a bit more detail I will put another video uh, uh, take the demo and we will complete all these three method in deployment but um, uh, it, team foundation server usually has branches dev branch test branch QA branch or UAT branch uh, or production branch so what happened is that once once you're um, um, in, in dev branch you have all the development work and you move that f from uh, development to test branch so that test branch is basically tied there it's connected with your test environment so you can go ahead and use team foundation server right click or however the method that you uh, use in team foundation server and click deploy since it's connected that branch is connected with your test system is gonna go ahead and deploy it in test and same with UAT in once the test is completed uh, the th um, all the changes gets moved to UAT branch and UAT branch is tied with your UAT environment and you can deploy it from that side the other other part right here I have written is uh, there are third-party tools such as Redgate they have a SQL compare uh, as an example so what do you do is that you compare the uh, between development and test and see the differences and then you move uh, those differences only or uh, a new whatever the new development is there to test and up here there 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 is a rollback and all that process is involved in there too which I'll get into once we will do the demo but um, you can use 
uh, third-party tools to do the deployment as well so basic basically um, what I am trying to um, share with you is the deployment basically means that you have developed something that is going to bring business to your organization and only uh, time is going to bring business is when it goes to production and when we talk about deployment it's a whole process of going from development environment to production going through different phases.